So we're back for another video. What are we doing today, Tim? I'm gonna rehouse uh, OBT tarantula. So that's the orange baboon tarantula, Pteranoculus marinus, if you will. They grow pretty fast. It's in sort of a small container. It's molted a few times. So we've got a larger enclosure for it, one that's got a little bit more height. They are a terrestrial species, but they do have a tendency to like to make web structures. So we've got it a bit of a taller enclosure, but uh, they're also known as a super feisty, very defensive tarantula, very fast. So you never know what you're gonna get when you do a rehouse with one of these guys. So let's go. So I got a couple of catch cups. My game plan here is literally to evict this guy out of here into the bathtub more or less and try to scoop him into the cup and get it into there. I might try to get it to, to go from one to the other, but this this guy's super defensive already. It's throwing threat poses and shit, so we'll see how it goes here. Get a good look at this guy. Super, super awesome looking tarantula. So like Tim said before, this spider, kind of scary. They're aggressive and that's why we got it in the bathtub because if this thing decides to get out, um, it'll be kind of sketch. So anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit of like what this thing looks like with a nice light on. So here we go. You can see the starburst pattern the abdomen or on the carapace. These guys are super fast, prone to bite. <laughs> I should be using a brush in all, re in all honesty. So, where did you get this enclosure just for anybody that's looking for something similar for their tarantulas that is uh, cost effective? These things I got them at Canadian Tire. They're like 15 bucks acrylic. They're thick enough and sturdy enough if you if you had the stuff, you could cut like a door and put a little hinge there. I don't, but I just get a small drill, drill my own holes in for ventilation. Super cheap. Ultimately, you want to go with something like uh, uh, something from Primal Fear Tarantulas enclosures, which is an actual acrylic uh, tarantula enclosure, or something like Tarantula Cribs or an Exoterra. But yeah, for for cheap stuff, for 15 bucks, if you have a little drill with a drill bit, you can't go wrong with these things. We got some new uh, some new enclosures from Primal Fear Tarantulas. Uh, these guys are in Manitoba in Canada. So that's awesome because it's hard for us to find stuff. And uh, looks like orders over $200, they ship for free. So yeah, these are great little enclosures. They, they got magnetized tops that just like click into place. Multiple openings. These are just the little sling cubes. So just for the little baby guys. But yeah, great. They look awesome. And we got some rehousing to do. So we're gonna do a rehouse of the uh, Seriopagopus. Hold on, I'm just gonna look. Yeah, Lividius. 
Syria Pagapis Levitis, uh, which is the cobalt blue tarantula. I probably didn't say that right at all, but uh, we got this. A friend of mine picked these up. She went over to the expo in Vancouver where Tarantula Canada's were, so I got her to bring back a couple slings. This was one of them. It's a, a fossorial species from the Thailand area in Asia and super striking as an adult. Looks like it's electric glowing kind of iridescent blue. Um, but anyways, I got it here and I've got a little enclosure made up for it with nice deep substrate. See what, uh, see what we can do here. So this is a little bit risky, but the cobalt blue is up in the top of the burrow. So I think I can flush it out like this. Oh yeah. I might get lucky. We literally might be able to just Well, as easy as that. So let's try to get a look at this guy. And I'm gonna try to keep an eye and make sure it doesn't bolt. I've kind of made a little starter burrow right in the middle, but you can't see any of the adult colors. It's just a tiny little baby sling. But man, these things just look unreal. We'll try to throw a shot of one as a mature adult female. That's of course the plan, is to get one of those. But uh, I would say that this guy is probably soon going to find its way to the hole in the center and dig a nice burrow down there. And we probably won't see it very often, but when we do, it'll be rewarding. Got a little curly hair tarantula, so same deal. Got it, it's just a tiny little baby. Oh, right up at the top, come on out. <laughs> Let's take a quick little look, handle at your own risk. <laughs> See how tiny this guy is. Look at that. Oh, make a burrow. I'm going to put a small piece of bark in there. Um, I just have to find the perfect one. Home sweet home. So we got the A. Janiculata, the Brazilian giant white knee, if you will. It's got about like 15 different nicknames. This sucker gets really big, like can get up to 8 to even 10 inches diagonal leg span. This one is very, very far from it. Molted uh, about a week ago. I can see the molt in there and I can see the little guy there ready for a new house. It's pretty small. Away we go. I'm just gonna take this molt out of here. There's actually two molts in there. Look at that. Too big for this now. Let me see if I can just do this. The spider's a little more feisty and skittish. Let's go out. Ooh. Oh, it's on the out, kind of. Yeah, there we go. These guys at this size are going to burrow down into that substrate. We got it nice and deep for them. I suspect that it's going to be up hanging around for too long. So this is a really special sling. It's a Carabina versicolor. Arboreal species. It likes to kind of live in the trees a bit. It's a little small. This is a little big, but I'm going to go for it. I, I think that uh, this tea is going to be fine. Webs up immensely in there. And yeah, it makes its home right in the top here. I just got this last week and I would rather put it in this enclosure where I can open the top or open the side rather than one where I'm restricted to only open the top because I know that this one will go up high and make its nest up there and yada yada. This is a amazingly beautiful tarantula. Let's uh, have a look and see. Super nice blue, almost sparkly. And they change color quite a bit. They turn to like a really iridescent purple and green color as a mature specimen. Uh, but I'm gonna see if I can just gently coax her out into this wonderful world that we have. Hello, 
I just absolutely love this sling. Are we a photo pelma? So this is our lovely little Afana Pelma Hansi, the Oklahoma Brown. And she's a great tea. She's nice and curious and inquisitive and moves around a lot. You can handle her. She can be a little bit skittish and standoffish, but I don't really handle the tarantulas, but this is one that I specifically got because I know that I could. Yeah, she's been a lot of fun. Real beautiful. And yeah. welcome home. Cyana pubescence, so the green bottle blue. Super cool, we got her. She was about as big as like my pinky fingernail, and she's good now, probably a solid two inch spiderling. So we got her going into this new enclosure, which is the same kind of deal. It's It opens at the top and at the side, which is perfect for this type of species, which is, uh, is a terrestrial tarantula that has a tendency to web a lot and climb, so this should be a good little setup. She can be a little ornery, and she will kick hairs. Well, that worked out kind of cool. <laughs> Just goes to show how strong that is. Yeah, yeah, holds it all together. I'm just gonna try to gently evict her. Yeah, so ideally, you know, these two tarantulas are gonna web things up. They will still burrow, as in the GBB here will burrow, and I think that these enclosures will end up <laughs> looking a lot like this, which is kind of what I want anyways. But, and yeah, shout out to Primal Fear Tarantulas. Their enclosures are awesome. They, they shipped, they were here within the week and very happy to get them. They look great, they function awesome. And I guarantee you, I think that every one of my tarantulas is gonna end up in one of these <laughs> at some point, so.